How's it going? So, um, I'm going to show you how to create scroll, right? So, we're going to have, there's two ways you can do it, right? You can do it through React or you can do it through Windows Scroll. It's ridiculously easy code, ridiculously easy code, right? All the information that you need, I'm going to copy and paste in the description, right? Uh, let me just make a note, description, description, post, all right, done. So, we're going to create a button that will go to the top of the page, to the middle, and then to the end. So, the top is going to be this one. And then we're going to use middle and end using this one. And we are going to use a smooth scroll as well for React ones. All right. So let's get started then. So create a blank component, right? And you will need use ref as a hook. You don't need anything else for this one. So just import use ref. So now we're going to create. Um, so we're going to do const mid use ref. And then we're going to do const and use ref. Actually, I'm not going to do it now. I'm just going to do it later. So the first thing we need to do, we need to create a div that will hold our three buttons that will scroll with the text. No, actually, I'm not going to do that first. What I'm going to do is I'm going to create... All right. So we're going to create first div, right? And then we're going to put h1 element into it. Lorem 1000. Prettify it. So we save. We just want to create a lot of space on the page. You can do it in whichever way you want, okay? So we're going to do it twice. So the middle is going to be here, right? So we're going to do this twice. So we're going to put an HR line here. Whoops. Like this. Like this, and then we're going to do again h1, lorem 1000. Prettify it. Then we're going to do another hr ref, right? And this is going to be our div, which is going to be called middle. So, and then here we're going to put a div. I'm going to call it, oh, whoops, the other one actually has to be end. Maybe put some styling onto it, like style equals, style equals, col color, yeah, whoops. All right, so that's what we have right now, right? We have in the middle, and we have the end, and now we just need in the top. So I'm I'm just gonna create like a div that's gonna have that's gonna be fixed, and it's gonna be three buttons to it, so we can scroll between it. All right, so let's go to the top. I'm pressing Control Home to get to the top. So let's create a div. Oh, it's going to have three buttons, so we need to make it position fixed. Style equals, give it a background, color maybe, gray, and then position fixed. Alright, so what's going to happen is, yeah, so now we need three buttons. Button x3 all right so okay so first button is gonna be top middle 
and prettify it. Okay. So let's save. Honestly, it looks good enough. It's good enough. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't matter. I know it's not like, that's not the, like, designing is not really the part of this tutorial, so we're just gonna stick to it. Let's just put maybe, I don't know, padding onto it or something. So let's do, um, padding, 40 pixels, make it quite fat, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then we maybe put in here, style equals... Padding top, probably. And we do something like 80 pixels. So... You see, so this thing doesn't really overlap it. Right, okay. Alright, so now the core tutorial is when we click on top, it will jump to the top, middle, and then end. Right? So, let's do the end first. So, let's create the end, which is... We're gonna use React ref, so it's going to be const, and equals use ref, right, and then we do, we go to the end, and we put this in here, ref equals end. Okay, now we need to click an on click event for the end. So on click equals like this, like this. Alright, so now we're gonna do end dot current dot. I think it's scroll. Where is it? Where is my little thingy? Yeah. So it's gonna be current scroll into view. Alright, so now we have we have this thing done. When we click, it should jump to the end. Okay, so it jumps to the end. Now, we want to make it smooth. Right? So, we want to make this smooth. So, we put this and type behavior smooth, like this. Now, we click. There you go. Okay, now we do top. Top is going to be jumpy because we are simply going to do the window. So on click equals window, I think. Again, this is going to be in in the Description. So now end top. Okay, now the middle is like super easy. Const mid use ref. Let's go to the middle. So it's going to be mid. And then on click event in here, on click, we can actually copy and paste this thing here. I'll just type it out because I know how it is in tutorials. I mean, people get confused when somebody copy and paste, so I'll just type it out for you. So now we need mid because we, we're going to go to this div. Dot current dot scroll into view and we want options which is behavior smooth that's it it's done okay all right we messed up somewhere okay
and it's done. Take care.